Hello, folks. This is your host, Tammy Tucky, and you are now listening to the Tierra Talk Show. We bring you rare interviews with the makers of Disney magic. Whether they be singers, actors, Imagineers, animators, they have all made their mark on the Disney name. Be sure to check out the show notes, other episodes, contests, our social media pages from Facebook to Twitter, and more on our official website at www.thetierratalkshow.com. Are you looking to plan and book an upcoming Disney vacation? Contact the Tierra Talk Show's official travel agent, James from Destinations in Florida, by visiting destinationsinflorida.com backslash tiara for a free quote. The link is also included in the show notes on our website. All guest opinions are theirs and theirs alone and do not represent the opinions of the Tierra Talk Show or the host. The Tierra Talk Show is not associated with the Disney Company. Thank you for tuning into this week's episode. And from all of us here at the Tierra Talk Show, have a hoop de doo day. I'm excited to welcome this week's Tierra Talk Show guest, Robert Guillaume, to the show. Welcome, Robert. Uh, thank you very much, Tammy. It's wonderful to have you on the show, and I, I have to admit, first of all, I've been watching the behind the scenes of Lion King all week, and I remember when I was younger, they had a specific behind the scenes of just you talking about the entire production and showing some behind the scenes features, which I thought was a lot of fun, and you get to introduce the whole thing with a lion, like a real lion. That was crazy. What was that experience like? Well, uh, when they asked me to do it. I uh, had such uh, high hopes about my future because I'm sh- I-, I was almost certain that they asked me simply to play Mufasa, the big lion. <laughs> and, and then when I found out they wanted me to play a baboon or a monkey, as, I- as it turned out, I got the role of Rafiki. And he plays a very big, prominent role in this film. He's very important, and he's still important today, of course, because he's in the Disney theme park. So Rafiki is this baboon who has kind of like a magical presence to him. Were were they showing you animation and drawings of Rafiki b- before you started recording his voice? No, no. But the, when when I was doing the uh, uh, the voice of Rafiki. They didn't have anything. And he and I've forgotten the guy with whom, with whom I worked. He and I, however, we were in those sessions. And uh, we toyed around with a lot of ideas. And we were trying to come up with the voice of Rafiki. We were working on the uh, Rafiki character I just said, well, let me see if this works. And we went from one one accent to another. And the only one that stuck was this this uh, a Jamaican that I had heard at one time or another when I was in the islands. So I began to sing it with a lot of gusto. We worked on it two or three days, and then we decided to put it on uh, tape. And... Uh, when they put it on tape, it sort of worked. It uh, became significant. And you went from there and created this character that I, I'm going to say probably more than half the world has seen in that infamous, nay, famous scene in The Lion King, which is the beginning circle of life scene. So mm-hmm. uh, do, do you get a lot of kids nowadays, since since you guys did have the 20th anniversary <laughs> celebration on 3D, there must be plenty of more kids who are being introduced to The Lion King. So what is that experience like for you to revisit? Well, they, they, they can't. Uh, kids who are interested in Rafiki are not quite old enough to understand that you that I may have done the voice. And I start saying some sentences that... Uh, Rafiki is known for, and their mouths drop open, and they say, golly, 
How does he know that? And that's amazing. So 20 years later, you're doing more publicity for a film. But you revisited Rafiki for a second time in Lion King 2. And Rafiki gets his own song, which is actually one of my favorites, is Upendi, about falling in love. Yeah, well, it's always fun for me to record some singing because it was my first love. But I found that I never, uh, not much ever happened with my singing outside of uh, doing a Broadway show. Oh, I think your voice is, is stunning. I was kind of surprised they didn't use it more often in the sequels and the original film. Thank you very much. <laughs> you were impressed with seeing the show finally make its way to Broadway in 97, Yeah, right? I, I've been astounded by its success, but I've did so enjoy uh, doing the voice of that character because it, it, it opened up a lot of interesting things for me. I mean, as an actor, the more abandoned I became in my process, the more effective it was even when I got silly laughs. Laugh. <laughs> uh, it, it just seemed to work. It, it does. It always makes me giggle when I hear it. Well, a great thing that came out of being Rafiki is you received a Grammy Award for being the best spoken word album for children with the Lion King read-along book. I'm very proud of that uh, recognition because I never, I never expected to uh, get a Grammy do you have any advice for kids who are kind of interested or really interested in stepping into the theater or film or TV business? The first thing I start asking young people is if they're really interested in this business. And uh, how interested are they? And whether they can take disappointment. Because that's the, it's the main thing you have to go through is rejection and I want to always find out well are you really prepared for being rejected well of course no one is but uh, they get the point I have three Disney questions I always ask my Disney guests and I will start with the Donald one what is one of your favorite Disney films one of my favorite Disney films not counting the Lion King, of course, but <laughs> we know yeah. it's one of your favorites. But but besides yeah. that, well, there've been so many. I uh, is Cinderella one? Oh, absolutely! It's one of my favorites. I'm so glad yeah. you mentioned it. <laughs> yeah. And our goofy question: What Disney character do you think would be your best friend if you got to meet them in person? Well, I think uh, what is his name? Donald Duck. And our Mickey question, our last question. If I asked you to name any Disney song at this very moment, what immediately comes to mind? Any Disney song? When you wish upon a star Makes no difference who you are da 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 will come to you that was yeah. very beautiful. Nobody sung the song on our show before, so you no? did it first. <laughs> okay. Well, I have to thank you so much for your time, Robert. I love Rafiki. I mean, I'm so glad he is a prominent Disney character featured in the Disney universe. I hope we might see another Lion King movie or something like that and Rafiki again. <laughs> All right, Tammy. Thank you very much. The past can't hurt, but the way I see it, you can either run from it or learn from it.